Greetings, PUBG enthusiasts. Today, we're diving headfirst into the adrenaline-fueled chaos that was day one of the PMGC Finals 2023. Get ready for a front-row seat to the most jaw-dropping, heart-stopping clutch plays that defined this amazing day. If you're as hyped about the top six clutches from PMGC Finals 2023 as we are, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and join our growing family of PUBG Mobile enthusiasts. Brace yourselves for NSR Sport as gripping 1v2 showdown against FaZe Clan, where he stood as the lone warrior for his team, defying the odds. Or MV and WBG going for at this stage, so if S2G move too far forwards, there is always that chance that they get backfilled on their position with the circle being such a hard shift. So they'll have to try and figure out what else they can go for. Sporter in the meantime with a pump action through the longhouse, trying to hold it down for Nongshim to try and keep consistency, stay in the top three at the end of the day, because IHC will give no quarter. Sporter for one. Shouts pull, gets the second to peek on out, but Onzins only gets half his HP bar. Three shots in the chamber, and it's Nongshim to keep it together. FaZe are gonna go down right in the middle of the tables. It looked like maybe they had something, but it was snuffed out quickly. D. Xavier's Lamborghini stole the spotlight with a dazzling 1v3 clutch, showcasing incredible skill, even though he narrowly missed securing that final crucial elimination. Hello! Spotted by Loops. Chua's here, right over the top with the DBS for Wait. one and two, and Loops are cut to size. Chua is answered towards, though, and there's the shots coming through from Nongshim Red Force. They will not go down. Another shot, another knock over towards S2G, and Lamborghini's lighting them up. Lamborghini coming through with maybe the 1v4. One more on the cards here for him. Keep spraying. 15, 13 bullets left in the mag. Looks to go for the shots on the side. Oh. Hardly any HP left. Silas getting pushed by the blue. Just about keeps them in. Prepare to be amazed by Alpha 7's legend Kirillho, who pulled off a remarkable 1v3 masterpiece against PJV, demonstrating his quick reflexes. 2G. Potentially, they'd be much further on the rankings. Here's Procedure Evos versus Alpha 7. Big engagement for this squad. Alpha 7 a little bit split, but Misery Town first. And Carrillo always slick with it, always looks good. Luxy with the chance, though. And Carrillo's good for one. Wow. And he's on the swivel. Who is this man? How does he keep doing this? Carrillo is here. A statement made against Procedure Evos on the northern flank. Can Major Pride get ahead of this, of this though? Can they swim in on this south? Witness the awe-inspiring synergy of Godless and Demo from IHC Esports as they executed a jaw-dropping 1v6, eliminating two entire teams of three players each with precision and finesse. IHC, the Major Pride stack in the middle. WBG try and get across, but they all jump in the same vehicle, and Godless lights it up, something awful. Ziol does go down in response, but that is the end of this match for WBG. Another bad performance for a Chinese team. Unfortunately, it's going to be 6-2-8. Lucky to try and keep up the pace now. Four players alive for them. They've also got Titan, but it's going to be tough for everyone involved. Perfect. Attempting to salvage this game, but unlikely. No meds on board anymore. Phase. Looking across, that is, I think this is the fifth, sixth team trying to get across this West Bridge flank, and it is not going well for anybody except for DXavia. They're long gone in the meantime. IHC trying to reverse it up, back it up, and the spray up to a vehicle. Demo. Demo for one, two, and three, phase four. The hell is going on with IHC at the moment? These triple vehicle pop outs. This is unreal. Partisan from Loops Esports steps into the limelight with a brilliant 1v3 clutch against NSR Esports, proving that skill and strategy can triumph against overwhelming odds. Where Alpha 7 is currently playing, they were out in the water for a very long time, but there's potential for a bit of a surprise play here from them. In the meantime, it's Loops versus Nongshan Red Force coming over the top two players versus four. See if they can make it happen. One and two for Cardozo in forwards. And XZY has to hit the deck. He's half HP. The first shot for the DBS. The second. And there's the third. Ayala was there for the backup. And two players. It's more than enough. Brazil's here to play. Witness the awe inspiring moment as 4MV's Apex orchestrates a brilliant 1v3 masterpiece against the Chinese Sensation 628. One thing to you, John, is that. There is a big difference between these matches and League Stage and PMPLs and the fact that a lot of these teams are willing to take fights. 
Uh, and it's the change that Max keeps mentioning is that teams are willing to take center, which means they're willing to take fights to fight over that central position, which is why a lot of times we're seeing come stage five, oh. we're already down to like 35 players. Apex. Apex though, making that less players. Apex was a 1v3 opportunity there, got the flush as well, Sunan. Low, trying to crawl back behind, bleeding out pretty quickly there. 33Z trying to put the nades behind, and a long crawl for Sunan results in a potential pickup here. But if Apex can land the nade, it's right on top of two of them. Has the DPS, plays up to the corner, but it's Nerzid to look for the shot, and Sunan gets flushed away. Now 33Z in a 1v1 opportunity around the dump truck as Apex steps up to behind it. But Nerzid from Stillwart still a factor in this scrap. Or MV may have just been thrown a lifeline here to keep things together. Damn. And there it is. Apex holds his nerve in water treatment. The grand finale features WBG Sook in a mesmerizing 1v3 against NSR Sports, a display of individual prowess that will leave you on the edge of your seat. WBG's dreams are scattered amongst the planes. They've still got Sue, still in the fit, it's still in the fight. Over on the east side, and with a nade and a knockover towards Nongshim Red Force, it could prove to be a little bit more troublesome than maybe we expected. Starts to roll forwards, gets the knock, a 1v1, but the res came through, and Tizzy now back into the fight as well. XZY playing close, they're both on the vehicle, has got the MG3 in hand, finds the first, and Sue is here, and it is gonna be the back to back for WBG. They have that chance reinstated, but with a solo player with S2G on the north, what are you gonna do?